Hi friends, uh, today we will be dealing with the working of a fuel injection pump. Uh, actually the fuel injection pump is the heart of an automobile. You know how important a heart is to us. It is as important as that for an automobile. Its purpose is to supply uh, fuel, the desired amount of fuel to each injectors of the cylinders of an automobile. So let's see how a fuel injection pump works. Before that, uh, let's identify the main components of a fuel injection pump. Uh, we have a uh, fuel injection pump over here. This is a Delphi made fuel injection pump which is used in JCB powered engine, uh, JCB 3DX machines. So, uh, you know, this is the silver, the housing, this is the housing, this black, this is the head of the fuel injection pump, these four ports as you can see over here, these are connected towards the four injectors of the cylinders, uh, this portion which is connected towards the uh, fuel tank which uh, sucks the oil and uh, these are two solenoids and uh, this is the fuel advance box, uh, this is the drive shaft where the drive from the engine uh, reaches the fuel injection pump. Uh, here you can see the overflow pipe and this is the throttle lever okay and now let's see uh, the components over here it is uh, the internal components are marked over here so this is the fuel injection pump as I have uh, shown over there so uh, this, this is the drive shaft till here this is the drive shaft and uh, this is the head as I showed these are the points connected towards the injectors this is the point where the uh, fuel is sucked uh, in towards the fuel injection pump so uh, a drive shaft is the most important part uh, because on the drive shaft we have the governor weight retainers and the governor arm is also connected uh, towards the drive shaft like this and the governor arm is connected through a spring towards the metering valve the metering valve is connected towards the head like this this is the head and it is connected towards the head and it is connected through an internal galleries towards the pump there is a rotor pump it is it looks like a vein pump when we look uh, look the uh, fuel injection pump from this direction we open uh, this uh, particular casing and we can see it like this because we have an eccentric circle over here and a rotor in, inside it so uh, the axis of rotation of this uh, rotor is little bit uh, different uh, from the axis of this circle or the casing so uh, as the rotor rotates the fuel is uh, sucked and is uh, given towards the injectors as per the demand uh, this looks like a vein pump it has uh, four blades connected uh, on the four direction and it is, it is not connected it is connected using springs in between uh, if you get to my blog uh, more detailed photographs will be shown over there of uh, this vein pump you can get a good idea on that so as it rotates the fuel in the uh, a low pressure is created at this area, the bigger area and uh, the fuel is sucked and as the area decreases the uh, delivery is happening. So let's see how it happens. When normally when an automobile uh, starts, what happens the drive from the engine reaches uh, the drive uh, shaft and it makes the drive shaft to rotate. Rotate. So when the drive shaft uh, rotate, it, it has a governor weight retainer. The governor weight retainer is like a flower connected uh, towards the drive shaft. It has petals like this and on the petals we have uh, weights. Uh, so what happens when it rotates due to the centrifugal force these weights will move towards the direction of the head so it will push uh, the governor arm at this point towards the head so what happens when the governor arm is pushed towards this direction at this area the governor arm is pushed back towards the drive area to this direction it is pushed back so uh, it will in turn uh, move the metering valve because it is connected by the spring so it closes uh, the internal galleries uh, which is connected towards each of these ports which will be in turn connected towards the injector so uh, at this uh, particular design or at this particular point when the governor arm is uh, moving to this direction uh, when uh, uh, the engine is just rotating and we are not accelerating what happens the fuel is not supplied towards the injectors as the internal port is closed by this metering valve so when does the fuel demand happens? It happens when we accelerate. So what uh, does an acceleration happen? When we accelerate, we uh, push the accelerator pedal and the accelerator pedal is connected through uh, the accelerator cable towards the throttle lever. Uh, this is the throttle lever. This is a top uh, view of a fuel injection from this area. This is a top view. So when a throttle uh, lever is connected towards the throttle shaft. So when uh, we accelerate normally, this is a throttle uh, uh, lever you can see over here it is connected internally towards the throttle shaft so the throttle uh, this is connected towards the um, accelerator pedal this area so the throttle lever moves like this okay when it moves like this the inside the throttle shaft will actually push the governor towards the head 
that means the governor moves towards this direction because it pushes up the governor arm so when the governor arm moves to that direction normally as it is connected uh, towards the metering valve the metering valve also moves okay as the metering valve moves the internal port inside the head which is linking the uh, metering amp port uh, towards this pump will open gradually open as per the demand so as per we accelerate how much uh, we accelerate it depends on that uh, this actually moves uh, so as per the requirement, uh, uh, as per the requirement, the fuel injection pump will sense uh, the movement of this uh, metering valve, and the fuel from uh, this vein pump or this uh, rotor will be collected and supplied towards each injectors as per the demand. But it is happening only uh, uh, by the functioning of this fuel injection uh, pump. Yeah, the fuel injection pump senses how much fuel need to be sent according to the demand of the metering valve position. So uh, this is how if the fuel is carried uh, from the fuel tank collected by the rotor and uh, finally it reaches the injectors. So I think uh, you understand the function of a uh, fuel injection pump. Thank you.